Look, those people walked way out in the water. It's pretty shallow. Where? Oh, oh it's so shallow. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of people out there. So it's a little bit all over the place, but we decided to take a day trip to Jasper, which is about three hours, I think, from Edmonton. So it was a bit of a hike, but it's worth it. We're going, we went to Moline Canyon. We were here last year, um, but it's beautiful. I'm glad that we came and it's not too smoky, so. It never looks very deep, when you see it on camera. I'm just gonna show you from here. Oh, you can't really see it. All right, you guys, I'm not a trooper to look over the edge. So if you wanna see this, you need to come to Jasper. <laughs> Google Moline Canyon if, uh, if you can't make it, because I, I don't wanna lose my phone or my nerves, <laughs> so high up. The nice thing with nature is you never have to uh, worry about covering over music. <laughs> it's way more beautiful in real life, of course. If you ever get a chance to come to Alberta, I would recommend going to Jasper and checking out Moline Canyon. The only thing is <coughs> that it's a bit of exercise. Mm -hmm. I missed this road sign for you guys. We came to Athabasca Falls. When we were at Moline Canyon, I thought that this waterfall, like the top, it's quite a big waterfall, was there. And these guys said it was Athabasca Falls. And I thought they were crazy. Ends up I'm crazy. <laughs> I should have just believed them. It ends up after that fall in Maui. My knee still hurts. Who would have thunk it? <sighs> I'm just taking it slow and making sure not to step on any of the really smooth rocks. Down is most definitely worse than up. I keep only catching the back of their heads. Tourist baby.
You're on my video now, Steven. What's You're on my video. <laughs> I'm not watching the camera though, so I can make sure I don't fall on my face. Oh. Now you guys saw how hard my son has it. <laughs> Get down. Yeah. I don't want to bandage him up and then have to carry him the whole way. Horribly disgruntled. <laughs> I came down like over there and walked all along all those rocks and survived, but that's the bottom of the falls. This is happening. <laughs> Last time we were here, there was a rock that had a whole bunch of butterflies. I don't know if I vlogged that or not. I know I took footage. Did you show it on your video? I know we, we almost came a month ago last year, so I'll insert my footage right now. <laughs> and uh, you can see what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't see any now, but. Okay, so over here, there's a rock that's covered in those butterflies. Why? How would you get that? Nothing in front of you. And now they're going on a tram. I'm not one for tram ride so I'm staying down here checking out the gift shop maybe having a nice relaxing time down on the bottom where it's not super high but I'll show you it won't be as adventurous for mine I'm showing you from the ground okay I gotta go down Going all the way up there. I'm good. But they're really excited. They'll have fun. Paper mache. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. You can see it. It says right now I'm at 1,258 meters. 4,127 feet. That's high enough for me. Right now? Yeah, right now. That's how high we are. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's there they are, getting ready to get on the tram. Well, they got on. <laughs> Steven, Hannah, Abigail, they really crowd them in there. There's Jason and Alexander. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, I'm coming to you from current week, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to make sure we are going to start the series where, I mean, I guess I have already done one with the butter tart squares, but one of the meal suggestions that um, one of the subscribers sent me, her name is Kathy, and it was the first one that I saw that in the email, and it's Mexican polenta pie. I've never tried polenta before. I, I feel like it's probably going to be like uh, a corn tortilla, but I absolutely have zero clue. So um, I'll show you the recipe and uh, so that you can see what we're going for here. It sounds pretty good. It just sounds like a, a tortilla bake kind of more or less, but I think it's going to be easy, which I mean, <laughs> and I'm excited to see what polenta is all about. So Hopefully I do this recipe justice and you guys can try it and we'll see uh, what you guys think. All right, 
Let me, let me start cooking. First, this is the recipe. I'm gonna have to clean this up first. I was coloring a bookmark because for the book club pick, I'm reading A Man Called Of. I've read it before, but I needed a bookmark. So I colored one <laughs> and I made this much mess. Chewy. You know that person. <laughs> All right, so the recipe says to preheat the oven to 375, and then it says in a large skillet, I'm using a Dutch oven, uh, cook the onion, green pepper, garlic in a tablespoon of olive oil, then add the ground meat and cook until no longer pink. I'm going to start, I'm already going off recipe, you guys, it's gonna taste the same, but I'm gonna start with the meat and cook it until it's almost not pink, but I wanna be able to drain off the fat because I don't want it in there. Then I'm gonna add the onion and green. I have a, I don't remember what I bought, yellow or red pepper, it's a pepper. Um, so I'm gonna do it that way and then I'll add everything, but I like to cook the spices in with the meat, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Maybe I'll cook the beef separately and then add it to the rest so that I'm following the recipe, kind of. All right, I'm gonna live. <laughs> I'm gonna do it just like what the recipe calls for. You guys saw the actual state of my kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to uh, do it exactly how it calls for. And if it's super fatty, I'll just drain it then because I'd rather have it cooking in with meat. So, all right, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so that you're not watching me just chopping because I am a slow chopper and I don't know what I got on my hand just now, but I need to go wash it now. Uh, so I'll sh I'm just doing the onions, pepper, garlic, and burger going in there. So let me film it for you. So I got, uh, I just have to get this, the nine by 13 baking dish, oil it, but it says cut polenta into half inch slices to cover. I got out a ruler just in case, cause I thought half an inch, that's pretty thick. So I found this, cause she said to use two uh, of them, but this is the same weight or as two of them. So yeah, I'm guessing it's gonna be like half of one side for the bottom and well, I don't even know what this looks like, so I, unless that I'm looking at it. Okay, let's see what I'm looking at. Oof. So I didn't realize that it's juicy inside, and I think this knife might be better. It doesn't like, I don't know what it smells like. I don't know, not really like anything that I've ever smelled before, I don't think. It doesn't smell bad. Well, that's not a half inch. 
it's like, I'm sure, so <laughs> you guys have seen, uh, this is still not thick enough, but I'm gonna make them this thick. But it's like jello -y. like, well, it feels like cornmeal in the inside. It's pre-cooked, so that's good. Oh my goodness. I've never even heard of, I mean, I've heard the word polenta, but I didn't realize what it was. I've never eaten it before. And I've never cooked with it before, so I'm actually very curious. Okay, I'm just gonna layer this in here, the bottom layer. Okay, hold on. I just finished, my hands are dirty. And the meat mixture is just simmering for 15 minutes on the stove. Don't want to cut my fingers. I like my fingers on my hand. Okay. I see. I go this way. That's a big piece. That doesn't sound like simmering, that sounds like boiling. All right, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but, oh, you can't even see my face. I have to really get down there. <laughs> it's harder to film than it looks, you guys. <laughs> All right, it says half the meat mixture. It is pretty watery. It smells good though. Half the meat, mi meat mixture on top of this polenta. looks nice. It did call for a green pepper, but I'm not a fan of green peppers. I am picky. <laughs> so I used a yellow, but I mean, you can use, I'm sure any of them. I hope. Okay. Maybe a tiny bit more. And then half the cheese it said three to four cups. So I just, it's Monterey Jack cheese. Don't worry, my hands are clean. <laughs> it's a big giant chunk of cheese. All right, half the cheese. Uh, another layer of polenta. Just wanna cut a little bit thicker. Gonna tear this up into smaller bits for this part. It's open. Mine ended up fitting uh, well, although I don't know if you're supposed to tear it up. So there's that. Okay, and then the rest of the meat is gonna fit in there. I need room for cheese. I might put a baking sheet underneath this just to make sure it doesn't boil over. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the last of the cheese. I'm impressed how well this all fit in here. 
Maybe I'm not done. I'm gonna pop that in the oven uh, at 375 degrees for 35 minutes and then take it out and let it rest for 15 minutes and then we can eat it. <laughs> I of course forgot to preheat the oven. Could be cooking right now, but I'm waiting for my stove to heat. Darn, <laughs> you guys don't forget to preheat your oven. You could already be on your cooking adventure. All right, I'm gonna start getting these dishes put away and hopefully this will all be done. Oh, actually I have tons of time while we wait for this to cook. Just came out of the oven and it looks delicious. I'm just going to chop up some um, tomatoes and some cilantro. We've got to let this sit for about 12 more minutes and then we'll be eating. Okay, you guys, verdict. It was delicious. I'm not even just saying that to be polite. <laughs> I'm saying it because it was delicious. It wasn't like, planta is completely different than anything I thought it was gonna be like. I don't even know what it tasted like. It was like, I don't know, that whole combination. So I followed the recipe completely, except um, it said like petite tomatoes chopped, uh, don't drain, something like that. I'm sure that it said something else, but it was like that. And I just used diced tomatoes, like, cause I had all those um, cans of tomatoes still from, diced tomatoes from uh, a clear out that we did. So I just used that. It was, so good. I ended up putting, uh, at the very end, I put chopped tomatoes and cilantro. I let everybody do their own because not everybody likes cilantro. Uh, the flavor was really good. It didn't need anything at the end. I forgot to taste for spices and everything. I forgot to taste and make sure, you know, when you have to correct, didn't remember any of that. Didn't matter. It was so good. So I would write back, write, blah, 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 blah. look at the ingredients. If that's something that normally all those things separately you like, not, not even that, all together. I thought it was gonna be like chili. It wasn't, it was good. You should try it. <laughs> Could I possibly say it was good any more times? Thank you so much, Kathy. That was delicious. Absolutely everyone loved it too. Like I have, I thought it was gonna be really spicy with the amount of chili powder and also the uh, Montreal Jack cheese was not too spicy. I also put out sour cream to serve with it as well, so some people chose to put sour cream, but I, I think it would get like a good nine out of 10 at very least out of me. Like, it was really good. <laughs> you should try it. I'd, I'm adding it seriously to our um, uh, rotation of recipes now, so thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, you guys, I gotta go edit this video together. I'm pretty sure this is going on the Jasper trip one because I didn't have enough footage to make it into a video. The trick with YouTube, if any of you are going to do YouTube, you wanna do at least 10 minutes because 10 minutes is like the ideal time frame to have it recommended to other people, but also be able to fit ads in there without it being hopefully not being obnoxious because you can't control which ads you get. And sometimes they're, are long and just so you know those ads are catered to you I don't pick those <laughs> that's based on whoever is on your computer what they're watching what you're buying anything you're I'm, I'm sure it's like whatever you're talking about but apparently that's getting into conspiracy but I mean there's that but you guys know I get Pampers commercials and there's no babies here <laughs> oh except for you Chewy <laughs> just Chewy but anyways, with that, thank you all so much for coming along. If you have a recipe that you would like for me to try on the channel, as long as it is not seafood, seafood related, nothing from out of the sea, <laughs> please uh, write me at archboldvlogs at outlook.com. Uh, I'll put it here, but also it'll be in the link below. Uh, and chewy. <laughs> And I'll try to make sure that it gets into the rotation. I have been getting quite a few, uh, but I'm trying to go in order and uh, and put them in that way. Sometimes people will put them down underneath. 
it's so much easier for me to print them if you just send it to my email, if you don't mind. But I'm trying to take screenshots and write down the ones that are underneath in the comments. But anyways, oh, let me go edit. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along. I appreciate every single one of you and I hope you're all doing very well. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye everyone.